Merry Christmas. Gaudete, gaudete, Christus es natus, ex Maria Virgine, gaudete. Gaudete, gaudete, Christus es natus, ex Maria Virgine, gaudete. Now maybe you don't speak Latin, so maybe I should give you a translation. Rejoice, rejoice, Christ is born of the Virgin Mary. Gaudete, gaudete, Christus es natus, ex Maria Virgine, gaudete. And especially if you don't normally come to church here at Suquamish United Church of Christ, you are most welcome to this special midnight service. Now you might be thinking, it's not midnight. Well, it's midnight for me. <laughs> and I'm the bridge pastor. So therefore, through extension, you guys get to be part of this very special and one of a kind Christmas Eve service. Welcome. And it's Christmas Eve. And part of the mystery of this night, of the whole reason that the Christ came, was because in times of great darkness, we need that light. Just like when it's dark, the beauty of the candle is revealed in the room. And friends, this is a time of terrible and holy darkness. COVID, and all sorts. So we uh, come together to celebrate the birth of the baby Jesus once again, however many years, 2,000 years later. Now, the Christmas story is so ingrained in our psyches that many of us know the details back to front. And I invite us this evening to look at the mythical as well as private way that the story is speaking to us in our lives during COVID, during lockdown, during this time. I urge us to listen to the story with a personal and a metaphysical lens. Put yourself in the story. Think about the nativity from the perspective of Joseph or the Archangel Gabriel or maybe the innkeeper. That was glorious, but it looks like we lost Simon. Where is he? Well, here he comes back. Oh, there was a, the lights went out and then I disappeared from Zoom and I was oh, like, wow. oh, <laughs> Christ, please bring me back to my people. Yeah, great. Woof. I'm all nervous now. I didn't expect that to happen, but there is a bit of a storm happening here. So we are in this very special candle lighting service. And um, we're going to do that in a completely different way tonight. We're going to um, continue on with our virtual Advent wreath. And uh, I'm going to ask our um, hope candle bearer, Claudia, to, um, I'm gonna ask Kathy to bring her screen up so you can see both of us. Ah, there you are, welcome, Claudia. And there we are lighting the candle of hope. And I'll say a blessing with this too. This is the blessing we used before. So may we know that hope that is not just for someday, but for this day here and now in this moment that opens to us. Hope not made of wishes, but of substance. Hope made of sinew and muscle and bone. Hope that has breath and a beating heart. Hope that will not keep quiet and be polite. Hope that knows how to holler when it's called for. Hope that knows how to sing when there seems very little cause. Hope that raises us from the dead, not some day, but this day, every day, again and again and again. And that hope is brought to us by the Christ light, which was born in the baby Jesus. So thank you, Claudia, for being our candle bearer. I've got a reading for us now from the Gospel of Luke. So let's go back to where this began. In the sixth month, the angel Gabriel was sent by God to a town in Galilee called Nazareth to a virgin engaged to a man whose name was Joseph of the house of David. The virgin's name was Mary. 
And he came to her and said, Greetings, favored one. The Lord is with you. But she was very much perplexed by his words and wondered what sort of a greeting this might be. The angel said to her, Do not be afraid, Mary, for you have found favor with God. And now you will conceive in your womb and bear a son, and you will call him Jesus. He will be great, and he will be called the Son of the Most High. And the Lord God will give him the throne of his ancestor David, and he will reign over the house of Jacob forever, and his kingdom there will be no end. Her heart beat in time with my wings. Her heart beat in time with my wings Hail Mary, full of grace The Lord is with you Her heart beat in time with my wings her heart beat in time with my wings Hail Mary, full of grace The Lord is with you Her heart beat in time with my wings Her heart beat in time with my wings Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. In the song that we just heard Cindy singing, one of the last lines is, Mary, did you know that the sleeping child that you're holding is the great I am? And I urge us to look at the nativity story with our own lives as if from the perspective of an ancestor, are we handing on that Christ light to future generations? When we hold the baby in our arms, are we aware that we're holding the great I am? And into this mystery, we're going to bring in our second candle now. I'm going to call forth for Mary, our Mary, who has the peace candle. And uh, Mary, will you please light that while I'm saying this prayer? Blessed are you, breath of peace, giver of all life, source of love that knows no boundaries. Your song of wisdom rang out before the world began. Through the ages, your song of liberation has impregnated us with your hope for a world where those consider last and least are the first and the most. A world where violence is overcome, by the power of your ancient love, and all siblings work together for peace. Thank you, Mary. I'm going to share with you a song now that I suspect you probably haven't come across before. It's called Joseph's Song. And in the mystery of uh, I used to wrestle a lot with Joseph about why he couldn't just be the dad of Jesus. But, you know, I'm absolutely embracing the fact that none of us know. And this sacred story holds so much wisdom. And what is it like for us when we um, love the situations that arrive that we did not expect. So this is called Joseph Songs, the song by Michael Card. How could it be this baby in my arms sleeping now 
so peacefully the son of god the angel said how could it be lord i know he's not my own not of my flesh not of my bone still father let this baby be the son of my love father show me where i fit into this plan of yours how can a man be father to the son of god Lord, for all my life I've been a simple carpenter. How can I raise a king? How can I raise a king? He looks so small, his face and hands so fair. And when he cries, the sun seems to disappear. But when he laughs, it shines again. How could it be Father show me where I fit into this plan of yours How can a man be father to the son of God Lord for all my life I've been a simple carpenter How can I raise a king How can I raise a king How could it be this baby in my arms sleeping now so peacefully the son of god the angel said how could it be This is the King James Version of the Bible, the start of the Gospel of John. In the beginning was the Word, and the Word was with God, and the Word was God. The same was in the beginning with God. All things were made by Him, and without Him was not anything made that was made. In Him was life, and the life was the light of all humans, and the light shineth in the darkness and the darkness comprehended it not. How could it be this baby in my arms, the Son of God? And how can I have the responsibility, how can any of us have the responsibility to raise Christ among us? That's a mystery, so let's sing about it. You know now that that's my answer to everything. What child is this who laid to rest On Mary's lap is sleeping Whom angels greet with anthems sweet While shepherds watch are keeping This, this is Christ the King Whom shepherds guard and angels sing Haste, haste to bring him Lord the babe, the son of Mary. So bring him incense, gold and myrrh, come peasant king to own him. The king of kings salvation brings, let loving hearts enthrone him. Raise, raise a song on high, the virgin sings her lullaby. Joy, joy, for Christ is born, the babe, the son of Mary. What child is this who laid to rest on Mary's lap is sleeping? Whom angels greet with anthems sweet, while shepherds watch our keeping. This, this is Christ the King, whom shepherds guard and angels sing. Haste, haste to bring him, Lord, the babe, the son of Mary.
And one thing that this baby brought and brings me is joy. And that's our third candle. So I'm going to call for us Sally, who is, I think, at the pink candle. I think the joy candle is the pink one. And uh, Kathy, will you please light this as I read this prayer by Jan Richardson called How Joy Works? You might recognize it. You could not stop it if you tried. How this blessing begins to sing every time it sees your face. How it turns itself in wonder merely at the mention of your name. It is simply how joy works, going out to you when you least expect it, running up to meet you when you had not thought to ask. And we're going to sing about that now. Got Gabriel's message. I hope you're singing along at home. In my mind you are. The angel Gabriel from heaven came His wings as drifted so his eyes aflame All hell said he thou lowly maiden Mary Most highly favored lady Gloria For no a blessed mother thou shalt be all generations, Lord, and honor thee. Thy son shall be Emmanuel, thy seers foretold. Most highly favored lady, Gloria. Then gentle Mary meekly bowed her head. To me be as it pleaseth God, she said. My soul shall laud and magnify his holy name, most highly favored lady, Gloria. Of her Emmanuel the Christ was born, in Bethlehem all on a Christmas morn. And everyone around the world will ever sing, most highly favored lady, Gloria, most highly favored lady, Gloria. My soul sings in gratitude. I'm dancing in the mystery of God. The light of the Holy One is within me, and I am blessed, so truly blessed. This goes deeper than human thinking. I am filled with awe at love whose only condition is to be received. The gift is not for the proud, for they have no room for it. The strong and self-sufficient ones don't have this awareness. But those who know their emptiness can rejoice in love's fullness. It's the love that we are made for, the reason for our being. It fills our innermost heart space and brings to birth in us the Holy One. Angels we have heard on high Sweetly singing o'er the plains And the mountains in reply Echoing their joyous strains Gloria In excelsis Deo Gloria In excelsis Deo Shepherds, why this jubilee? Why your joyous strain prolong? Say what gladsome tidings be Which inspire your heavenly song Gloria In excelsis Deo Gloria In excelsis 
Chelsea's Deo Come to Bethlehem and see Him whose birth the angels sing Come adore on bended knee Christ the Lord and newborn King Gloria In excelsis Deo Gloria In excelsis Deo really really this is about love a love so huge it called us out of the holy void into this life and that's what we're gonna light our next candle for i'm gonna invite alan and betty to be spotlighted and to light the love candle for us there you are great and here's our prayer and then i adapted corinthians please forgive me love you are patient you are kind you do not envy you do not boast you are not proud you never dishonor others you're not self-seeking or easily angered and you keep no record of wrongs you who are love rejoices with truth. You protect, you trust, you hope, you always persevere. Your love never fails any of us. Thank you, Betty and Alan. Our candle bearers for the love candle. I've got a reading for us by somebody whose name I don't know how to pronounce. Wangari Mati. This person was a Nobel Prize laureate for the Green Belt Movement. This is what he or she says. In the course of history, there comes a time when humanity is called to shift to a new level of consciousness, to reach a higher moral ground, a time when we have to shed our fear and give hope to each other. That time is now. That time is now. Peace, child, in the sleep of the night, in the dark before light. You come, you come, in the silence of stars, in the violence of wars. Savior, your name. Peace, child, to the road and the storm, to the gun and the bomb. You come, you come. Through the hate and the hurt, through the hunger and dirt, bearing a dream. Peace, child, to our dark and our sleep, to the conflict we reap. Now come, now come, be your dream born alive, held in hope, wrapped in love, God's true shalom. Peace, child, in the sleep of the night, in the dark before light. You come, you come, in the silence of stars, in the violence of wars. Savior, your name. Peace, child, to the road and the storm, to the gun and the bomb. You come, you come. Through the hate and the hurt, through the hunger and dirt, bearing a dream. Peace, child, to our dark and our sleep, to the conflict we reap. 
Now come, now come, be your dream born alive, held in hope, wrapped in love, God's true shalom. Oh, come, all ye faithful, joyful and triumphant. Oh, come ye, oh, come ye to Bethlehem. Come and behold him, born the King of angels. Oh, come, let us adore him. Oh, come, let us adore him. Him, oh, come, let us adore Him, Christ the Lord. Sing choirs of angels, sing in exaltation, sing all you citizens in heaven above. Glory to God, glory in the highest. Oh, come, let us adore Him. Oh, come, let us adore Him. Oh, come, let us adore Him, Christ the Lord. Yea, Lord, we greet Thee, born this happy morning. Jesus, to Thee be given all glory. Son of the Father, now in flesh appearing, oh, come and let us adore him. Oh, come, let us adore him. Oh, come, let us adore him, Christ the Lord. And next year, you'll be able to rock out with the organ in the transformed sanctuary. Um, thank you for sticking with me and the guitar in this most unusual and uh, first virtual Christmas I think the world's probably ever had. How do you introduce the Christ candle? How do I explain that mystery that is there in every child I hold, but yet was so precious to this one way shore, this one who came and through his own relationship with God opened up a door for all of us? And my faith around that can be completely different to yours. And the Christ welcomes that. Often in my prayers, I, I pray to God, I pray to Christ that I do not make him too small. I don't try and understand that mystery too much, to make him too much like me and my mom and my dad and you and everybody. Let him be this glorious ray of light that is so much bigger than I am, that I am in service to. And to be honest, both of those Christs live in my heart. The one that I make very much like somebody on the bus and the one who I'm not worthy to untie his sandals, as John the Baptist said. And whatever the Christ means to you, whether it's a mystery or a confusion or the most beautiful, beautiful thing in the whole world, let's welcome that as we invite Jane, who is our Christ candle bearer, to come up and be spotlighted by Kathy. Ah, welcome, Jane. O oh Christ, you are within each of us. We are your temple. We are your body. If every wall should crumble and every church decay, we are your habitation. Nearer are you than breathing, closer than hands and feet. Ours are the eyes with which you in the mystery look out with compassion upon this world. 
Thank you, Jane. Thank you, Christ, for coming and being among us yet again. Now, Mary is a real doorway into understanding um, the Christ. So I have a reading here by Jan Richardson. And I think I've got some people ice skating just because, just because. Mary knows that some things are so outrageous that sometimes we have to talk about them as if they have already happened in order to believe that they could ever come about. And so if we believe that God has brought justice to the world, we live that justice and we share in making the world more just. If we believe that God has brought healing to the world, we live that healing and we share in making the world more whole. Hope starts small, even as a seed in the womb, but it feeds on outrageous possibilities. It beckons us to step out with the belief that the action that we take will not only bear fruit, but that in taking it, we have already made a difference in the world. And God invites us, like Mary, to open to God's radical leading, to step out with sometimes inexplicable faith, faith, trusting that we will find sustenance. And that's our job, whether we live in Toronto or Kingston or Vermont. That's our Christian calling. Holy child, we all come from darkness. She is holding all of creation in the dark. There grows a tiny spark, a flame where all life starts. Holy child, do not fear the darkness. Do not fear the darkness I think it's only right to really really honor the mother as well as the child the two are inseparable <laughs> And in the mystery of the story, when we try it on, we get to be both. We get to be Mary and the Christ child. If in your heart you make a manger for his birth, then God will once again become a child on earth. If in your heart you make a manger for his birth, then God will once again become a child on earth. If in your heart you make a manger for his birth, then God will once again become a child on earth. If in your heart you make a manger for his birth, then God will once again become a child on earth. If in your heart you make a manger for his birth, then God will once again become a child on earth. If in your heart you make a manger for his birth, 
then God will once again become a child on earth. John O'Donoghue wrote this. Christmas reminds us to glory in the simplicity and wonder of one day. It unveils the extraordinary that our hurried lives conceal and neglect. We have been given such immense possibilities. We desperately need to make clearances in our entangled lives to let our souls breathe. We must take care of ourselves and especially of our suffering brothers and sisters. And friends, that is so true during COVID. During a time when people are grieving alone. During a time when many people have died. During a time when people don't know how they're going to pay for the Christmas presents they bought their children. Because the Christmas bonus didn't come. We must take care of ourselves and especially of our suffering brothers and sisters. And we're not in it alone. We're here together. We're here on Zoom. We gather as communities who love each other from afar as we celebrate the coming of the Christ light. In a moment we're going to light candles. I probably should have prepped you earlier to go and get a candle. So um, I'll try and not say anything interesting for the next 20 seconds in case you're madly running around looking for a lighter and a candle. And I invite us to change Zoom's view so that you are on gallery view. Because we're all candle bearers. All of us. I have a suggestion for us, which is see the light in others and treat them as if that is all you see. See what wonderful growth comes out of that. See the light in others and treat them as if that is all you see. And then secondly, especially if you're alone or bereaved, my prayer is that the, the blessing of this community and the, the blessing of a peace that passes all understanding and the graciousness of a God that did not cause the power to go out be with you, wrapped around you tonight and tomorrow during these holidays. This is a hard time to be alone. So may you receive the blessing of the love that so many people hold for you. And I invite all of us to light our candles Silent night, holy night, all is calm, all is bright. Round yon virgin mother and child, holy infant so tender and mild, sleep in heavenly peace, sleep in heavenly peace silent night holy night shepherds quake at the sight glory stream from heaven afar heavenly hosts sing alleluia Christ the Savior is born Christ the Savior is born Silent night, holy night All is calm, all is bright Round yon virgin mother and child Holy infant so tender and mild Sleep in heavenly peace 
sleep in heavenly peace. And as we were singing, friends, it turned midnight here. So we really are having a candlelit midnight service in the most peculiar, odd way. And it works. And the love and the joy and the peace and the hope are among us.